TV.com webcasting to the world. And we're here at Bob Marley Day 2002, Los Angeles, with Mikey General. Mikey General, welcome to the world, because this is webcasting to the world. Blessed love, greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Ayla Selassie I. It's a pleasure, Empress Makira, to speak to you again. Kobala, you know, that's the, Lucia, that's the label. Do you study the Kobala? Well, I studied a little bit about the Kabbalah, and um, I saw that it, it, it maintains a life that's so high and so in touch with the angels and in touch with humanity, because it means to receive, to receive instruction, divine instruction. So the, the whole Kabbalah thing really had a hook on me. It was Luciana who in introduced me to it. But yes, Jewish mysticism, Mysticism, yes, yes. It's, yes. it is Jewish mysticism. Yes. It has a re relevant to I because it's close to Rastafari in the teachings and philosophy. So yes, um, Kabbalah has really had a profound effect on me and I do uh, study a little bit about it. It's a very, very incredible and uh, you really have to study hard because yeah. it's kind of very complicated, very you know, different. tree of life. Yeah, yeah, tree of life. Yes. Yeah, you know, and the different names of God, Adonai, Yahweh, the Tetragram, yeah, you know, you know, the different, different names, you know, Jah, and, you know, all these things. It's very important, but I found that, all right, the word Adonai, they say when you're praying, you use Adonai for certain things, you use Yahweh when you're praying for certain things, and I, I tried it, and I see it works, you know what I mean? So, so the different aspects. Right, yeah, so... Different names of God are different attributes, and when you call upon those attributes, they bring forth fruit. Just like, um, like Adonai means Lord Master. So when you say Adonai and you pray for something in the name of Adonai, then you get, you know, according to what you prayed for. So there are certain names you use when you're praying for, when you're praying for certain things. So the Kabbalah teaches you that too. So that's very good, and it's, it's helpful. I've tried it, and. I, I benefited it, so I know it's true. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, yes, yes, it's not a myth. It's not a myth. You know, it's true. Um, these books that I've read, I read about Kabbalah and meditation. I don't remember the brother who wrote it, but it was one of the most powerful books on Kabbalah I've read. And you know, some part of it, you didn't want to read it. It's so frightening. I can tell you, it can be very frightening because it tells you about different fears that you enter when you, 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 you know, where you can encounter different, different angels and the powers what these angels have, you know. And I do believe that they are just like how we have a physical body, there are different, different, you have celestial, astral, casual, so there are many different bodies. And at each realm you go, there's a different angel that controls that realm. So these are the things that Kabbalah teaches us, and I see, I see them as true. Especially if you're opening up your consciousness, the wisdom, it's almost opening like the different chakras inside right. your body. Right. So once the kundalini rises, you know, when you start going to the wisdom and with the breath, mm -hmm. you know, because the breath is the connection to, between mm -hmm. you and the spirit. Right. So really being conscious of the breath and being in the, the internal present moment probably opens up, brings it up and opens those chakras and it goes to the crown chakra. Well, you, 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 you sound like you have a lot of knowledge, Empress. That's true. What you said there is true. Everything there. Um, it seems you have done in-depth study on the same subject as well. And you, when you mentioned the breath, very important, because without the breath, there's no existence, no life. Nothing can come through because of the breath is our sustaining power, sustaining strength. You know what I mean? So the, as you say, the breath connects us with life, and it connects us with the spirit. And therefore, when we are conscious of the breath, we are more aware of where we are and, and aware of the spirit, what the spirit wants us to do. So it's very important. So all these come together. And you know why we link it with Rastafari? Because we know Ali Selassie is the greatest meta metaphysician. So we know that he is a Kabbalist. He's, you know, he's because he has, he's um, head of the church. He's almost all of these things. He's almost all of the order of Melchizedek. You name the order, he's there. You know what I mean? So we know that he is a Kabbalist. So we try to study a little bit of it so we can apply it to people so they can know. You know what I mean? Selassie. 
Also, your dietary, you're, are you vegetarian and Ito? I'm a vegan, yes. I don't eat no dairy products or nothing like that. Yeah. Um, I find out it's more healthy for me. You know, I, I can't turn last I've been to the doctor. I'm so healthy. I feel good. You know what I mean? Um, it's lighter on the stomach also. You know, more digestive, no constipation or anything like that. Uh, I find also it helps my thought because without a doubt, they say, um, you, you are what you eat, but I'm a vegetarian, so I know that my mind is like a vegetable, you know, calm and, you know, people who eat a lot of pork, they tend to be hoggish, right? <laughs> yeah, and people who eat a lot of chicken, they tend to fly up too much, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, my name is a vegan, you know? Yeah, man. And I give thanks to Jada that he had. I've been about five, about six years now, I used to eat fish. But I, I decided not to eat the fish because I went to a river one day in Jamaica, a place named Sweet River, and I saw some people hunting fishes. You know, they were hunting the fish, but I found that the fish was running for its life. So I said, here, what makes my life more precious than the life of a fish? That I should want to eat it. You know what I mean? If the fish is running for its life, he values his life. Therefore, that put in me the impetus now that say, yeah, the fish wants to live too. Let him live. I, for my part, won't have any, anything to do with the destruction of the fish. You know what I mean? As they say, you have conscious life and unconscious life. The conscious life is the fish because the fish, he knows you're trying to kill him and he's moving, he's trying to get away. He doesn't want to be caught. The unconscious life is like the, um, the vegetables in that the vegetables, you cut them. They're not running from you when you come to cut them. You know what I mean? So. That's what I feed on, conscious life. And you're so right, because the vegetables, they say, in the secret life of plants, they say the vegetables faint because they want to fulfill themselves through you. Yeah. And if you cut a vegetable in half, and you, uh, if you cut a goat in half and you try to plant it, you don't get another goat. But if you cut a vegetable in half, you get another, uh, yeah. you know, something so else. We feed on unconscious food, not conscious, unconscious. Right. Selassie I. You know, the youth, you know, right now with all the, you know, things that are happening, all the destruction in the world, I know they want to know what your thinking is, what to do if you're citing up Rastafari. I mean, I know a lot of uh, youth out there are getting in it because, of, you know, you know, they hear the music, some of the dance hall and the blunts and, and everything. What would you advise the youth right now? What do we, uh, you know, the youth and uh, all of us in general, how should we prepare ourselves for the coming of the day? Well, for the coming of the day, you should prepare yourself with the Almighty, you know what I mean? Because as we see around us the destruction and devastation, um, even the 9-11 incident, we see how important it is for us to bond together as one. You know, you know what the 9-11 did? It had um, horrific consequences, but it also brought something that I didn't see in America because I saw they bring on an advert on the TV that said showed every race and said I'm American I'm American now that wasn't something that you used to see before you know what I mean so in this time we don't need a 9-11 to bring that about right we need to know and identify each other as one people as one nation out of many one people and when we realize that love is the only way love is the answer that and love is God and Jah is love, you know what I mean? We will learn then that we will be ready to face whatever consequences there will be. We'll be more united, and when united, we are stronger. So if we get closer to Jah, follow the principles and teachings of the masters that have come before us, we will be able to meet the day when it comes, you know what I mean? Each day, we should enter with thanks to the Almighty, and then everything else will come after. You know, as they say, seek ye first the kingdom of Jah, and all things shall be added after. Celestia, you know, I want to say one more thing about your new release on the Kobala label. You have a new record out. What can we, what is it called? The new your new release? We have a new album. It's almost ready. Hopefully, it will might come on the Stone Tiger, um, Kabbalah music. Its, its name is Exalt Jah. You know, because 
so many times we sing songs and we're exalting all kind of things and we're not exalting Ja. So this the type title of the song is El Exalt Ja, you know, the LP. Exalt Ja, you children of the most high God, or you shall fall like princes and die like the sons of Meg again. Well then Exalt Ja, you children of the most high high. Or you shall fall like princes and die like the sons of Meg again. Well then, hey, cause while I am living, gay, thanks I'll be given, gay, to the everlasting King. He gave us this breath of life, so we made this sacrifice. To be pleasing in his sight. So let's exalt Ja, you children of the most high God. Or you shall fall like princes and die like the sons of Meg again. It comes from Psalm 82. Yeah. It ha song. Yeah. That Psalm say, Exalt Ja, you children of the most. It, it says, Yes, sons of God, aren't you not gods and sons of God? And children of the Most High God, but you shall fall like princes and die like the sons of men. So what it says is that we are divine, but if we don't exalt Jah, our divinity will never show. You know what I mean? So this is it. You know, we are saying exalt Jah, so you can express your divinity. Because when you praise Jah, you, the more you praise Jah, the more you give thanks to him, the more he comes into you, the more he, and the more you can be, be who you can be, be all that you can be. Yeah. Mikey General, OneWorldRadioTV.com. Yes,